Charlie Reed
Okay. Yo, bro, what's up? Now, where you going? You want to give me a ride? Are you not going to see dad in the hospital? Big bros, with all due respect, is that why you're shouting my name as if I've said that I'm your boy? Yeah, Richard, if you had said that, come on. Richard, anything? You're still the man. You feel me? Okay, let's put it this way. Bro, I ain't gone. You know you can't force me now. <laughs> I gotta be out of here, man. Stanley, come in. So, what, what will it cost you to go see Dad in the hospital? For two weeks, he's been hospitalized. He's been lamenting to see you. It never crossed your mind. You never cared to bother. I mean, what's your problem, man? Where do you get this attitude from? <sighs> I'm not free now. You feel me? Let's even come think about it. Yes, I ain't seen dad for like two weeks. So what? And I see dad day in, day out, every single day. Bro, it's boring. I mean, seeing that old face all the time is boring. I never come to think of it, bro. When dad was sent to Enugu, I was the only one taking care of him. But where were you? What you did that time, you know, you were nowhere to be found. Hey, bro, man, you got a cap on some harness. You know how it is. I'll see you later, you know, son. I'm counting down. I'm counting down on your fuck ups. <laughs> Very soon, I will treat it. Bro, 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 bro. Don't make me laugh. Bro, you know that when it comes to Fuck up treatment that I'm a doctor. Hey, bro, you know how it is. You cannot do more than a polish shoe, or you even do more than a dead and a living rat, both combined together. Bro, you can't do me none. You know how it is. Hey, bro, I know what your problem is. I know what you need. You need your a sweet, psychedelic kind of a girl. Bro, I make provisions for you, right? It's that kind of law, trailer, a lot of girls coming. So don't worry about it. I get you some for you. Just people, let me call Zero my man. He does the arrangement. This is this. You can put your bills on me. This is me. Chief Rebel, for all that we just said, it has a lot of legal Good afternoon, sir. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. Uh, how are you? Good afternoon. How are you? I'm alright. How are you? Nice, sir. Are you here? Oh, what no. Yes, I'm here. Oh, how are you? How are you? Oh, everyone is fine. Welcome. Yeah, I was told you went to the back. Oh, yes. I went to pay for the surgery and it will be done tomorrow afternoon. I believe it will be a successful one. Oh, amen. Amen. Are you welcome? Are you? 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 Are you?
source tile with my life. Sure, don't be tired. You are very much aware that I am your lawyer. And as a lawyer, I am in the best position to keep the wheel. So I don't understand why the sudden change and uh, Yes, I, Barista, I know. I know. Please, I, I don't want us to argue on this. Yes. Uh, when the child comes out from the school, she will be given a new brand jeep. And uh, <coughs> five hundred thousand naira. What is going on here, Barista? Oh, what is going on here? Nothing. Why is he saying all this? He will be fine. Uh, darling, listen. Nothing. You are the one to give him the jeep and the five hundred thousand naira. You must be there. Yes. You must be there, darling. I'm talking to you. Why are you saying all this? It's okay. He will be fine. You see. That boy has been a blessing to us. Yes. Yes. We have we have been keeping the secret. <coughs> we have kept the secret of uh, of adoption for everybody. Yes, I I really appreciate that. And uh, I want it to continue that way. <coughs> yes. Uh, nobody, I repeat, nobody should let it out. Yes.
sorry he couldn't make it. this meeting for us to put us together now that Raymond, your husband, your father, and my boy is dead and has been dead. Stop crying and realize that you have the responsibility of achieving the unrealized dreams of your late husband. 
We are not interested in his properties and dealers. We want you to take full charge of his companies. Richard, Uncle Stanley, I want you to take good charge of your mother. Make sure she doesn't cry again. Because if you don't, nobody outside there will come and do it for you. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, Richard, you are the firstborn. And whatever comes to man is a force to man. You have to rise up and start up. Take care of the house. Your mother cannot do that alone. Uh, and the student, to whom much is given, much is expected. See to that that she lacks nothing. The same goes to all of you. Finish your education. I'm very sure your father left enough, I mean more than enough for that. Make sure you don't waste it. I am more interested in how well he utilizes the world. Is that clear? Yes. Well, it's getting late and we have to be on our way. My uncles, on behalf of me, my mother, my brother, and my sister, I want to say thank you for. The concerns you show. Thank you for everything. Your position during the time. God bless you. It's okay now. Ah, make a grown man like you cry, sweetheart. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Ah. Now that you're going back to school, please avoid trouble. I don't have the strength for that. You all know the strength of my health. Focus on your academies, which is the reason why you are there. Please, peace. Your brother will give you forty thousand naira. Okay, mama. While he takes sixty thousand naira, he is with a check. But guys, you all know mom is in charge now. Okay, we have to give her all the support and love that we can. Please, from time to time, give her a call. I will. Okay. I will. But I hear your voice. Same goes to you, Stanley. Okay. okay. She needs us, you know, we need her to. Let's allow the love we share to remain forever. Let's not allow it to die, okay? Mommy, right. Mommy, promise me you won't cry again, all right? I miss you. I'll always call you, I'll miss you too, all right? I'll I will always that. call you. Mommy, will miss you. You know, you're all I've got. I will miss you, but, right? but mom, that, that one is quite small now. Uh, I told you I, I need 100,000. By the time I give peace, uh, um, 40,000 and having 60. I mean, no, but left for me. Hey, 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 yo. Take it easy, okay? I don't think she needs all this stress now. I'll fix it. I'll make sure I get some money before before the week runs out. But just don't give her the stress now. Jay, bros, I didn't feel you. I so bad, I didn't feel you. Man, go let your five rules. Just stop in a You're the man. You're the man. Man, let's go to school right now, man. It's about time to go to school. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Oh, Stanley, you, you give me a hug. I'm even missing nice, you right now. Let's run, let's run. I'm gonna call you. As I get to school right now, I'll blaze you. I'll blaze you. I'll blaze you.
Courage and participation during my husband's burial. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, what are friends for? Hmm? So, what do I offer you? Um, for now, nothing. Hey. Um, I've come to tell you our discussion between my children and my in laws. I hope your in laws are not giving you any stress. No, not at all. Listen, my in laws, they are wonderful people. Oh. Wonderful. Do you know what? I'm now in charge of my husband's company. You're kidding me. I work there as the chief executive officer. This is beautiful. It's just God. And it is marvelous. And Richard has gone back to law school. Stanley and Peace, they've also gone back to school. Jesus. What will I do? Guess what? What? I'll start in the new office tomorrow. Hey, Rachel. Oh, this good news is too much. It's God's oh, doing. And it is marvelous in his eyes. I am so, so happy. Oh, thank you, my dear. Thank yeah, I am happy dear. that you are strong. The Lord will always be your strength. Amen. Um, what am I going to do? I have to carry my cross. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have my support all the way. Thank you. Uh -oh, it costs uh -huh. like a celebration. So, what do You're I offer? You a friend indeed. Uh -huh. I appreciate. And I appreciate being your friend. Thank too. you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good news. All of me. Now I got the door. Everybody knows I'm a big boy. Holding your hands now. When you see me, no try anything funny. Yes, I'm about to do what I wanna. Yes, I'm about to do what you wanna do. I'm stand up and you remember who you are. So what do you do? What do you do? Stand up, stand up, stand up. What do you do? What's up, man? Jump on and get on. Feel me. Stand up, something. All of me. You can put your bills on me. All of me. Listen. This is me. How you doing? All of me. I'm cool. What's up? You can put your bills on me. I don't think you're good. I'm alright. Because the only problem I have right here is that every time I try to say hi to you, try to show you love. You just walk past me as if I'm what nothing. Why? Why? Tell me why. Why? 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 Because I'm not interested in you. And I told you to stay away from me. I don't like you. And in fact, I'm not the only girl in this campus family. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I told you to stay away from me, you Mr. Loverman. Mm. Excuse me. I give you F9 because you're not hard enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody. Up in the school knows me. It's like I control this territory. It's like this territory is mine. You know me now. What's my name, my nigga? Stand up, something. You feel me? I don't feel you. I don't feel you. So listen, you, Mr. Ladderman. I told you I'm not interested in you. I don't like you, and I told you to stay away from me. In fact, I'm not the only girl in this campus. Shut up. Ah! You, you have to me. Yeah, <laughs> Your bills on me. The 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 bills on me
out of the house. Oh, oh, what's your problem? What's your problem? Give me some water, man. Oh my god. Everybody up in here knows me. You know me now. You feel me now. Not me. Oh, me. Now listen. Everything up in here. Everybody up in here. If I buy my everybody's drink, everything, all is on me. You feel me? Yes, sir. Feel me. Now listen, Mr. Loverman. I'm not interested in you. I hate you. In fact, you are dealing with a wrong person. Not me and Lisa. I hate you. I don't like you. Sit down! Oh, you talk too much, right? You talk too much. If I say this girl blood the rag, I blood too hot. She need to go down. Now listen, right? First of all, don't be loud when you're talking to me. I mean, you gotta show me some respect. If I say no, no, me, I mean, it's or something now. You feel me? Feel me? No, stay be Salo, Papa. Yes. No. I think if I wear your shoes, I think you should go to church every Sunday, thanking God that someone like me talks to you. What's your problem? What's your problem? Look at you. Look at you! I'm not interested in you, you Mr. Loverman. Cheap guy. Excuse me. Hey, bros! This girl, she need baptism. Come on, let us baptize. Shut up, fuck up! Hey! 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 meeting will be brief. We are all here to get acquainted with one another. 
if you all can see, Chief Fremont is no more. Please shall we rise and have a minute silence? May his gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. You can see. I am Mrs. Richard Madu, the wife of Raymond Madu, late. Well, my name is Charles uh, Edelberg, uh, the chief accountant of this company. My, my name is Edina Tochi Okoli, and I'm a youth copper serving with this company. I'm in charge of the engineering department. Thank you. I'm Miss Gates Charles, the computer analyst of this company. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. My name is uh, Edwin Godwin, the head of the corporate affairs. You're welcome. Thank you. Madam, my name is Judith Deckland. My name is Judith Deckland, the head of marketing department. You're welcome. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't hear you right. Thank you. Okay. And I'm Mrs. Austin, the PA to the chief. Hello. Hi, I'm Mr. Sauce Chooks, the storekeeper. My name is Alvivian Mwabuke. My name is Alvivian Mwabuke, ma. I work under the marketing department. You're welcome, ma. Thank you. As I was saying, we have to move ahead. I mean, work continues. When my late husband was alive, he always spoke of your loyalty. And I desire a good relationship. I mean, let us work as a family. I would like to see the breakdown for the past two months. Madam. Yes. We appreciate your taking over Chief's responsibility. And we, the staffs, would like to let you know that we won't fail in our duties. Thank you. Chief has been our boss our father and we miss him so much we give all the support to need him. thank you and you yeah did you attend school namda zikiwa university oh unizik you're welcome thank you Papa <laughs> um accountant yeah, is the yes she went out to buy snacks for the meeting okay okay um you Well, so what is the fact that that time you know said chicks don't laugh? I saw her and I approached her. We talked and I proceeded to the bar. But I remember I told you to do him for me. You know, trust me. I knocked them I now. Know, I now trust I walk you. Now walk to, uh, to the bar to get the stout. Uh -uh. I was about to open it. Guys, see that stout. Me. What? My back and uh, Jesus. <clears throat> you know. And then I know. I was like. So what happened? I, you mm. know, so when Excuse she stopped. Me. Yeah. Did you see what you just did to me? What did I do? You nearly knocked me down and you're asking me what did you do? But don't you have eyes? Don't you see? Mm. Are you out of your mind? Steady. You didn't hear me. I said, see what you did to me and you're supposed to tell me you're sorry steady. and you're telling me steady. Kneel down. Are you too out of your mind? Are you shouting at me? What for? I said, kneel down. You know they just kneel down. Kneel down. Kneel down. Kneel down. Kneel down. For what? Kneel down. For what? Kneel down. Sense from you, I swear to God, I'll design your body with this. Bang, yeah, no 
Look at you. Your brother is full of himself in this school. Now, my darling, I'm here to eliminate you. Hey! No, 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 please. Hey. Oh, please help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Look at you. Look at you. Daddy. You're such a beautiful girl. Look at your face. Look at your pretty face. I'll only bless you. You will start the oh. lesson now. No, 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 no. Now, girlfriend. I want you to read my lips. If I hear anything all about this, if I hear all about this, I swear to God, I'll make you uncomfortable in this school. Now I want you to say amen. 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 At this time of the day, are you sure she's all right? Eh, uh, she's very, very okay, sir. It's just that she's soaking herself with her bath in jail. <laughs> okay, welcome, sir. All uh, right, thank you. Uh, come and take my box from the. Uh... Okay, sir. When she wakes up, okay, call me. I'll be in my room. Okay, okay, sir. Bring my suitcase from the. Let me. I come here. Okay, uh, give me a piece, sir. You do the shit. Okay, sorry, sir. Okay, welcome. Load it. Oh, yeah. Bring this my bag. As well, girl. Oh, oh, better carry that bag and go inside now. I am saying welcome, sir, to me. I'm sorry for you. So you're sorry for me, Lord? If I'm going to catch you, if it should catch you, catch me. I'm all gonna go. So, come and take my bag and put it inside. Better carry that bag. Uh, are you sure? Okay, where is the box? I'm okay, welcome, sir. <laughs> Lori, look, you need deliverance. If I come out now, I will deliver you. <laughs> achieve his dream. I know wherever he is now, he'll be so proud of me, you know. He promised us. Okay. He promised us. So, it's not easy. It's not easy. Mom, it's not easy for us all. We can't keep crying. Okay, I know what I'm going to do, okay? I just go shower up and I go to the kitchen and I do those things that I used to do. I want to get very nice meal. Watch me. <laughs> Where is this boy?
eat hard food and serve you food just like your late husband does. Hey, Rachel, you enjoy, you know. Mabel, it's amazing. Um, I felt like a queen once again. But that's what you are, a queen. A queen without a king. That's good. Must you bring your late husband into every conversation? Must you? Mabel, I can't help it. My husband promised to be there for me always. He said he would give me his shoulder to lean on. Mabel, imagine. My husband is not there to see the dream of his son accomplished. Was it his fault that he died? He made promises as a man, but he is gone. Rachel, all I want you to do is to lean on Jesus. He's the best husband that can never leave you. Eh? This thing is in the past and you can't change it. And you know it. I am afraid if you continue with this way, hey, hey, you'll be heading for the rocks. And you know I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't like it. Please. <laughs> All I know, the Lord is my strength. I, I thank God that you know that the Lord is your strength. Okay? All I want you to do now is to try harder. I know it is not easy. Please, try harder. Eh? You should count yourself lucky that you have good children and nice in-laws. Are, they are not giving you any stress at all. The only problem I have with you here is that you think that with your husband's death that this world has come to an end. It is. It is a lie. I'm not uh -uh. No, it is. No, man. What is life uh -uh. without my husband? This life is longer and larger than you think. All I want you to do now is to start thinking towards the positive attitude of this life and forget this thing you're thinking about. I never thought that I should weep again. You meant to wipe my tears deep down in my heart. I never thought that I should weep again Look at what you have done I never thought that I should weep again You meant to wipe my tears deep down Mommy. in my heart So this is what you do when, when you're all by yourself, eh? You, you be crying I'm not crying I was only... We well, only what, mommy? Since we came back from school, we'll be shouting, mommy, mommy, mommy. We didn't see you inside. I, I didn't even know you were outside here crying. Eh? And I've stood here for 10 seconds look, looking at you. Oh, mom, I thought you promised not to be crying. I mean, you want to cry yourself to death and, 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 and make us orphans. No, I will not die. I will not die. You come and give me a hug. I'm happy to see you all back. It's more like it now. The mom is crying. Yes. Yes. And mom, I hope that's not all you have in the house because right now my tummy is talking to me. That means I'm hungry. Gloria has just prepared, <sighs> For real? prepared fried rice. Stanley, Stanley, yes, come and have pork. Mom, I, I prefer something solid. You know? I have this. It's appetizer. I never thought that I should weep again. Hey, Richard. You're welcome. How are you? I'm all right. When did you get back? Um, we came in this morning, but mommy said you were running around for something. Oh yeah, I really had to go fix some things up. So where's Mom and Stanley? <laughs> hey, big bro! The big dog, what's going hey, on? Hey, just be chilling, you know. Hey, you are gonna see you, bro. Yeah, same here, man. You look good. Hey, fine, that's cool, man. Hey, bro, man. I swear, I give those lecturers assignments. That's the worst of day, they go tired. I did well, I did well. You know now you're news? talking, man. Yeah, you know the good news? Now, a bro like me, 
is now in his final year. <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah, you're talking. Yeah. Um, what did you cook? We have rice. Rice? Yeah. Very neat. 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 I'm bringing my lady home tomorrow. <laughs> and you better stay in this house. I don't want your ass out of this house tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. Do tell me you get married soon. Of course I am. Bro, I mean, you're too young. You both chat us all. As a young, progressing lawyer. Every lady's dream, okay? See, so this is the time. I mean, that the time with this. This is time for all those ladies. This is time for them to pay for all their atrocities. I said, bro, you need to explore. You know, explore ground. That's the thing now. Explore ground. Catch your phone now. Stanley, listen up, listen up. You see, in life, there comes a time when a man needs to grow up. You play from boys to men. You know, I don't think life is all about that. For me, I'm getting married at the end of this year. Okay. Whatever, 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 whatever. Okay. I don't know which way, man. It's all good. Now, check this family out, man. And check you out. Check me out. Check our little sister out. We're beautiful people. Okay? See, if you go carry one ugly girl, I'm going to free you. <laughs> Hey, wait, bro, bro. I hope she's pretty. You know, I know you got style. Hey, yo, bro, you represent. You're a good man. I know you got eyes. Okay? I can't wait. You know, she comes from. You're not going nowhere. I know more. You're going to see your ass down this way. Hey, bro, bro. Hey, bro, bro. First time. Don't worry. You're the best people on this earth. Okay? Let us go and love them. You know how to combine. Now check this out. Your red earrings, polka dots, 
Red and white. Where are you going? Red pants. Where are you going? Red shoes. Uh -huh. Hey, check me out. Where are you so going? I'm red up. So you're red, red cab, uh -huh. red day. See, we have good dress sense in common. So right? you both can yeah. make a man. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, I told you, naughty boy. You're welcome to my family. Beautiful. Yeah, family. I told you, I got style. Man, you know the man. <laughs> you know the man. We is the man, guy. Huh? We is the man. For real. All right. Um. The baby of the house, ah, uh, younger sister, yeah. peace, my girl Fina. Nice to meet you. Um, you, you are very, very beautiful. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Fina, uh, make yourself comfortable. Fina too. You are welcome once again. Um, should should we go to the dining? We have food in the house. So rice. who is we? We. we. Oh, look, I made it. I'm not going to eat that rice. I'm not going to eat that rice. Oh, that rice. Oh, that rice. Oh, no. Um. It's a great opportunity for me to be here tonight. In fact, my heart knows no joy. It's better than the first one I'm having now. For the fact that uh, our little boy Richard is being accepted into the fraternity of Lawrence. Yeah. Uh, regarding the newest lawyer on the block. But here is a day that I so much wish his father, my very good friend, Chief Raymond, was here to witness. May his soul rest in peace wherever he is. Obviously, you will shake me for this day. So, for that matter, I'd like to open this door to formally welcome my little boy Richard into the fraternity of lawyers. Hopefully, he will become one of the most outstanding lawyers. We are looking forward to this day. Please, let's have a minute silence. May the soul of Chief Raymond be perfect. Through the next of God rest in peace. Amen. May the soul rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Um, Richard. On behalf of my late husband, your father and entire family. I present this khaki to you. Where's you be? With a check of 500,000 mm. naira. Wow. Um, Lovely. Let's enjoy ourselves. Thank you. It's enough of drinks, food to eat, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ladies and gentlemen, today is my day. Let's just say I'm elated. I'm excited. I'm blown away. Bring it all out. Bring it all out. I'm flagabasted. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Oh my God. Mom. <laughs> thank you. You see, I want to thank God that I have. Uh, of the 2,500 students that were in my class, only 1,000 was able to make it true. And of that 1,000, God has chosen to make me 
number one. <laughs> so I, I, I want to say a special thank you to him. And also, mommy, thank you. And on behalf of my dad too, I want to say thank you to you again. Uh, I want to thank everybody that has made it out here today to share this moment of joy and ebulency with me. I thank you all for coming to share my great moment. Um, I also want to say, let me just quickly quip in that uh, barrister Mike has given me a job in his chamber. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Gentlemen and ladies, have fun on me. Come on. Blow it away. Come on. See me no try anything funny As I'm about to do what I wanna As I you about to do what you wanna do I'm sorry no, And you remain who you were Hey on me You can put your baby Hey See it mama Where do you think you are going with this car? You already forgotten Holiday is over And who give you the permission to drive this car? Stanley you move your back from the boots and give me the khaki. Okay, mom. <clears throat> My big brother Richard gave me this car to be using. What are you talking about, mom? So oh, I gotta go Stanley, to school. we had an agreement. When you graduate from school, you can own your own car, okay? Mom, this one thing about you, I don't seem to understand. Okay? In fact, it's like your pasha. Because Richard has been using this car ever his first year in school. Okay? Mom, I'm soon going to be a graduate. I don't see any reason why I can't use this car. Right? Mom, this is injustice. It's injustice. Okay, I understand. It's like you prefer Richard to me, right? But that is how it is. Uh, uh, Sonny, listen. I don't want this car to distract you from school. Face your final year exams. My final year is out my foot. When Richard was using this car, it was not a distraction. Now it's my turn. It's going to be a distraction. Mom, is it sometimes when you say it drives me crazy? I don't always seem to understand you. You drive me crazy sometimes. Uh, Stanley, give me the keys. You can say whatever you want to say. I swear this will start happening in this house. If this is not that you continue, this will happen in this house. Stanley, what will happen in this house? I said, what will happen in this house? Idiot. School! I go to school. I go to school. I swear to God, this is happening to me this time. You will see. Heads will roll. You will see. Who can't be rude? I said, who can't be rude? Ooh. It's your own head will roll. See me no try anything funny As I'm bound to do what I wanna That's how you bound to do what you wanna do I'm stand up And you remain who you are Hey! All on me You can put your bills on me Stanley All on me I want this to talk to you You have to adjust for better Yes, because Richard uh, uh, will be fixing his library in that room. Okay? Mom, what's the meaning of all this? Why would this back into my room? 
and Richard having a room to himself, wanted to use her own for his library. Okay, mom. Why can't you pack your things into Daddy's room and allow Richard to use your own room as his library or his chamber? See, this whole house belongs to Richard. Listen, I told you you were eh? I'm sorry, don't question my authority. And besides, is she not your sister? Am I not your sister? Mom, see. You people are looking for my trouble. You are looking for my trouble. You just let me be. I don't understand what, what, what you mean of all this. I don't reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, that. Can you just let me be? Can you let me be? You are looking for my trouble. No, me. This is me. Now I got the door. Everybody knows I'm a big boy. Rolling your hands now. When you see me, no try anything funny. As I'm about to do what I wanna. That's how you about to do what you wanna do. I'm stand up and you remember who you are. Hey, all of me. You can put your bills on me. All of me. This is me. Meanwhile, what are you doing with that laptop? Will you send it to Richard's room? He need it for his research. For God's sake, Stanley, can't you help yourself? You are in your finals. Read your books. Oh, for God's sake, what was all this now? I mean, why did you just, just allow me to have my peace? Out there is the car. Up in the room is... It's, it's this one, pack your things into my room. That is my father's laptop. But why, why, why don't you just let me be? See, I don't know what it is that you're looking for. But whatever it is that you're looking for, for me, soon, soon, and very soon you'll find it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. oh! What am I going to all this now? No, no. You won't like it when I start. Huh. Don't even let me start. Stand. Because if I start, you won't like it. What is your problem, Stanley? Don't, don't you know you're talking to our mother? No, shut up. Okay. Shut up. It's okay now. Listen, you must... want to speak shut to up. our mother? Be be because she was telling you shut to up. let me back into your room. Is it bad? Am I not your sister? Your mother, your mother, your mother, your mother, like your mother. Please. Your... Back into his room. Mommy, can I you imagine? Stanley? Don't you <laughs> ever dare me. If you dare touch your filthy hands on me, I will give you a beating of your life. Just try it. Leave him. Leave try him. it. Leave him. You, you know he's a man. Try it. This is me. Cause now I got the door. Everybody knows I'm a big boy. Rolling your hands now. When you see me, no try anything funny. As I'm about to do what I wanna. That's how you about to do what you wanna do. I had to find out the truth from you. Truth about you. See, Auntie, the reason why I came here is because I know that you're my mom's best friend. I want you to tell me, who is my real mom? What? And where the hell did you get that kind of question from? See, Auntie, the way things are going on in our house, I don't seem to understand. I mean, from all indication, it's quite obvious that mom prefers Richard to me. Now, check this out. Mom bought Richard a jeep. And say, you know I'm in my final year, so I deserve to drive a car to school. Just the other day, I've packed my bag for school, everything ready. Not for me to head up to school. Mom appeared from nowhere and snatched the car key from me, telling me that I cannot drive the car to school. Saying that, eh, hey, one thing, one thing, one thing, that the car is going to be a distraction, that this, 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 this. I mean, I thought this is crazy. Richard has been driving ever since his first year in school till he graduated. The car was not a distraction. Then why me? Why would the car be a distraction to me? I mean, I think it's very obvious. She's not my mom. I know. I think, I think she hates me. Right now, Richard has about two cars all to himself and I don't have one. It's not fair. Stanley, I know you're angry. And you feel your mom doesn't love you, right? Yes! She does not love me. She does not love me. It's obvious. Mom packed these properties and luggages all into my room. I was telling her that uh, 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 Richard will be needing her room uh, 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 for, for, for his library. Now tell me, why can't mom pack her own things into daddy's room and allow Richard to use the whole house as his chambers? And she made me these things, those things are driving me crazy. 
it's can do. If I tell you the truth, will you believe me? Yes. So far you are telling me nothing but the truth. Rachel, my very good friend, is a real mother. Then why does she hate me this much? Why does she hate me? See, Auntie, if something is not done, I swear to God, I will do something else that will change the house. Trust me. Trust me. I will shake the house. Tan, you will do no such thing. What is wrong with you? Ah. And by the way, what did Richard say about this whole thing? They play together now. Because Richard is not saying anything. I understand how you feel perfectly well. But please, I want you to calm down and go home. I'll speak to your mother. Okay? But Stanley, I beg you in God's name, do not do anything stupid. We'll sort these things out, okay? Please, do calm down. Sit down and look for yourself. No, 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 Auntie. I'm, I'm just okay with myself. See, my only problem is for you to please help me solve this puzzle that is in my house. Because, see, I'm, I'm almost going crazy now. I'm happy that this girl was trying to be crazy. It's okay. I said we will sort it out. Please. I'll see you home, okay? Thank you, I'll see you. I think I better take my leave right now. Just calm down, okay? Thank you. Have a good day. Why is it difficult for you to wash my car? Sir, I washed the car yesterday. You washed which car yesterday? Sorry, sir. Same car I saw that I drove out on, on wash yesterday. You're telling me you washed it. Who is lying now? You or me? I'm the person. You're the one lying? Yes, sir. You're very stupid. Thank you, sir. Can you imagine this boy? Oh, big bro, it's, it's too early to shout, so what's shouting all about now? Sorry, sir. God bless you. So for this time, you don't wash my cars. Hey, bro, it's chiller now. I mean, Rambo said, stay out of you. Stay away from this. Maybe because you're a big boy now. Big boys take their cars to car wash. I mean, I can't even imagine that you're harassing this poor gate man over washing your car. I'm harassing hey, you. Come on, you fall my heart. Stanley, stay, Stanley, 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 stay out of this. Stay out of this. You come here. I said, why, why did you wash they go. my car? What are you? Of course, I'm not the former handle, man. I'm not a small thing. Ah, Stanley, what's wrong with you? That I was calling my gate man, and you have the, the affront and the guts to tell him to walk away mm -hmm. from my sight? Did Just wait till you're what? Yo, did, you, did I hear you say your gate man? Richard, did you employ him? Did you employ the gate man? Look, 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 Richard. For the fact that I choose to respect you, does not give you the effort tree to talk to me anyhow. I swear to God, I swear if you try and play stupid, I will whisper such a lie. Feel me, feel me. Stanley, I don't think you are all right. It's, it's either you need a doctor or, or you're just stupid. It's at me. Please tell us all things, stupid. Brass will fall out. I swear to God, if you are mad enough, we will rough ourselves more now. You feel me? We will just, we will just feel, we will feel ourselves. You understand? Let us just feel ourselves. Forget all this your wear suit, all this your, your this one is not even a suit. This is a coat. See, I've been watching you. I've been watching you for a long time. But you, because mom bought you car, right? You not believe you own the whole world. It's like the whole world is in your, is, is in your hands. You are calling them to wash your car. Why must they wash your car? Why must they wash your car? Is it your house boy? Did you employ him? Bros, no long talk. You feel me? Feel me? Make me feel yourself. Nonsense. You this nonsense, stupid. Charge and pay lawyer. Mama's boy. Mama's boy. Take Look, Africa. sir. Look, come here. Look, don't come here. I said, come here. Look, don't come here. 
If you come here, if you take corners, this is what I'll do. Now go back. Look, I said, go and watch that car. Look, if you dare. That's the wash your car. You drive a dead car today. So now watch that. And that's what happened. Now, Sass, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. What's happening? If you something, something. Now, what's not going to do? Go on, go on, enjoy liar. Go on, enjoy liar. Now I got the door. Everybody knows I'm a big boy. Rolling your hands now. When you see me, no trying anything for me. As I'm about to do what I wanna, that's how you're about to do what you wanna do. I'm stand up, and you remain who you are. Hey, all of me. You can put your bills on me. All of me. This is me. All of me. Yes. Yes. You yes. can put your hands on me. All of me. This is go. me. Go. 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 All of me. Go. Go. You can put your hands on me. I'm stand up and you remain who you are. Hey. All of me. You can put your hands on me. All of me. Rachel, yes. I perfectly understand all you've said. Richard needed everything you've given him. But at the same time, Stanley and Peace has to be pampered a little. Madam, you know me too well. I'm not capable of loving one child and hating another. No. Rather, I'm trying to let my children understand the importance of hard work. I know That's all these things. But for your own child to start taking this direction, <laughs> it could be dangerous. Look at what happened this morning. Rachel, it could get worse. And I know you don't want that. I would like you to do me a favor. Whatever. Please. Tell Stanley to put his mouth and stop nagging. I hate nagging. I will do just that. But you have to buy him the car he's demanding for. Or in the alternative, give him some money. Please. Mm -hmm. I will give you a second thought. I want you to make it as quickly as possible. No. I said I will give you a second thought. I want sanity to be restored in this home. And I know you want it too. So please. Please. Check of 450,000 naira for your upkeeps. I know you need it. I don't need your money. In fact, take the money to your soul, the one that makes you happy. And just let me be. Just let me be. Um, Stanley, collect this check for me. Stanley. 
Stanley. What is all this? Stanley, listen. I'm sick and tired of this scenario. I promise to buy you a car the moment, the moment you graduate from school. And give you a check as I did to your elder brother Richard. Why all this nagging? I Please now. Please. Why you crying now? This is no Donga that beats me. Donga? What are you Donga? Wait, wait. Donga is the name of human being, the name of goats. He has been chasing me for some time now, and I've not been talking to him. <laughs> Today, when I was going to the classroom, he just saw me, and I didn't answer him, and he just. Hey, said, I know something. Oh, I know something. Oh, I know Joy! For this school, don't get pity in the whole school of one son in sister. You know they fear. Please, I think I'll beg you. Me, I can beg you. I think I'll tell you. Beg no other people to see your tears now. You beg me! I know. You even let me down. I won't be able to see you. You even the former as they cry right now. You're letting me down. I don't be able to see the whole school of one son is crying for what? Please don't cry, okay? Just, just go back. Just go back. Go back. Okay, go back to hostel. Let's go back home. Okay, please, just please. Let's go. Let's go back home. Let's go back home. Now I got it all. Everybody knows I'm a big boy Rolling your hands now When you see me no try anything funny As I'm bound to do what I wanna That's how you bound to do what you wanna do Now I got the door 
Everybody knows I'm a big boy rolling your heads now When you see me no try anything for me As I'm about to Now you turn up the talk Come on, my girl, that's my mom No, you don't receive them. You mean the slap? Yes, please. How many times do I receive them now? Three times now. Three times? Yes. Okay. As they receive the slap, it is sweet. Or we can show you some sample. Hey! my friend, the Chris. Yes. yes. Come here. Yes. Yes. you. Yeah, they took you. They, they talk rubbish. You do your cherry coin like my kajasu. You do like my kajasu. <laughs> Okay, deep, so boy, deep, deep food. idiot, idiot, bring your face off, what do you do with this? Now bring your mouth. No, and I teach you that this person. No, what do you do with this? We have one bunch, one bunch. Such a way to see many, many things. Idiot, this is your shit. One bunch. No sense, boy. Why do they don't even say that? Man, that is the way that I can go. They don't even say that be white coat. I go, this is your face, not white. Idiot. And lose something. See, see, see. Oh, Stand up, man. This is my, this is my last if pocket. You don't have to slap you, idiot. Hey, way too much money. It is eh? good. It is good. This is why you, you get some of See, condom. What did you do to me? Protection now. For protection, you are out. You got to be like, be like SV. Like <laughs> and then they punish my. I'm going to punish my sister. I'm going to punish you. Bros, what did you do to you stand up and answer me. This is 20 naira. You see this 20 naira? It will last it for 20 days. Manager, mo. If you don't manage, mo, I may not be your papa. Now I got the door. Everybody knows I'm a big boy. Rolling your heads now. When you see me, no try anything for me. Put that down, put that down. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. All you wanna do. Cause now I got the door. Everybody knows I'm a big boy. Go put your shoes. Go put your shoes. Go put your shoes. Go put your shoes. Give myself the money and I say slap. This money. No, no, no. Salute, salute, salute. Wait, wait, wait. What do you account? Put up your account. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I'm so, so happy. Thank you, sir. I'm so very pleased with you. Thank you, sir. Your ability to handle three cases and winning these three cases without staying oh, in fact if you continue like this you will become a mega attorney thank you man. and your face will be splashed all over the newspapers i'm telling you i can confess that thank you very much sir and honestly i owe it all to you you see yes i went to the law school but i must say you're instructive advice and help me to to know how to handle these cases and then also the challenges ahead of me thank you sir <laughs> well you're most welcome thank you so much i only feel a little bit flattered no 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 flattery intended sir no flattery intended anyway anyway thank you um you know justice and oh yes he wants to see uh, you. You have an idea why he wants to see me? Uh, obviously not. But uh, oh, I will equally be there myself. So then I'll be there. Oh yes, of course you need to be there. I'll be there. Thank you very much.
Oh mein Gott. Oh mein Gott. Could this be true? So the Richard is an orphan. Can it be true? Richard, you are adopted. You don't even belong here. And so much is going to you. Oh, I've been with an imposter. 60% of my dad's will for him? No way. No way. It's time. Richard, it's time to dance to the beats of the mafia. You will get nothing. Richard, you are an orphan. Richard, you are adopted. Richard, an orphan. Adopted. I will put him in his place. Yes. I will put him in his place. I can't open my, my room. You lost your keys? No. It was the same keys that I used to lock my door this morning when I was going out. Are you sure you used the right key? Ma Mom, I'm not a kid. Okay? I locked my door with this key. And now the, I don't know what's going on. It can't open it. I don't somebody must have tampered it. And who's the daddy? Yes, I do. Stanley, how could you do it? Shut up. Because you don't belong here. Stanley! Uh, Watch your word. You feel me? Your days are numbered in this house. In case you don't know. Very soon, you trust me, I swear to God, what will you do in this house? Stanley! Stanley, you're me! Can you imagine this? Is it wrong that I have Stanley as a brother? Yes, it is. It is wrong to have it as a brother. In fact, it is a taboo. Living under the same roof with you. See, Richard, this is just my own little way of telling you that. Soon, you'll be thrown out of this house. Okay? I swear to God, if I find anything missing in my room, I'll arrest Stanley and make sure I lock him up. I'll lock him up. Mm. Richard. Richard. Why do you think Stanley is doing this? He's getting out of hand. He's getting out of hand. Why is Stanley being busy? Because nobody fights him. I'll fight him one day.
in my office. Mom, did I hear you say your office? Or oh, my dad's office? Stanley, you had me right. All this one you're doing right now is what I call initial gra gra. Because pretty soon, I, Stanley, will be the one sitting up in there and calling the shots. Yes. Stanley, yes. please. I don't need your disturbance now. Leave my office before I call the security. Seki what? Mom, call the police. Call the army. Call the offices. Call the vacancies. Call all of them. And I'll tell you that I am the security. Yes, call them. Security my ass. Sandy, are you threatening me? Mom, you are wicked. Yes, you are wicked. You and dad brought in that orphan into our family and willed everything to him. Mom, is that no more of a threat to me? Threat to my life, threat to my being? But you see, it won't work for him. As long as I live, it won't work for him. But you see, all that one is not why I came today. You see, right now, I need money and I need it now. Son, why do you choose to break a home that I built for good? Oh my ass! Oh my ass! Mom, like I said before, I'm not here for your question and answer or an interrogation session. I need 300,000 Naira, period! And if I didn't give you the money, what happened? Mom, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen, but I need the money! Stand the place to leave my office! Leave me alone! Let me do my course, let me I will do this, I will do that. Call them now. Stanley, leave my office. You are getting on my nerves. Leave my office, Stanley. Mom, you see, the way you always call this your office, the thing is, even, is I, I'm sweating because of it. Did you say your office or my dad's office? In fact, my own office. Mom, call the police. Call the security. Call the Call all of them. I am not going anywhere. In fact. Hold on, me. You can put call the police on me. Your office indeed. Hold on, baby. What has come over you? Money has come over me. I need money and I need it very fast. Yes, that's what has come over me. Put your bills on me. Hold on, baby. This is me. Hold on, baby. You can put your bills on me. Hold on, baby. This is me. Cause now I got the door. Everybody, you know, who's my you're joking. How much is this? Stupid stuff. But there's no, there's no, there's no point asking you about this. Is. The point is, I will take this money, I will keep on eating this money, I will spend this money with my friend. When it finishes, I come back for more. Since you people want to spend the whole money on that stupid investor, that fool, that doubt, that's how we'll be spending this money till it finishes. And when I'm done, I come back for more. Yeah. You can put your bills on me. It's just the beginning. It's just Hold the beginning. Me. This is me. Hold on, me. You can put your bills on me. Hold on, me. This is me. Hold on, me. You can put your bills on me. Well, it's been long since I saw him. The last time I saw him was at Richard's school to bar. Yes. Barrister. That is why I called you. He's taking it to another level. And I don't want Richard to know that Stanley came right inside my office threatening me. Threatening you? Yes. Stanley came here to threaten you? What has come over this boy? I don't know. He was mentioning something about the file, will. I don't know where he got the information. Let me ask you, is the file well secured? Barista, I locked it right inside Chief's room. And with the key, and nobody goes in there. Nobody. If that's the case, there is no cause for alarm. Yes. And if even he has a proof, Richard is legally your son, and he has his own legal rights. 
Of course. Chief said nobody should know. That was his last word. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. No. Um, I think I'll look for him and talk to him later. An adopted child has equal right to the biological one, legally speaking. Does it not mean that he should come and take over my father's wealth? I mean, that's not possible. That's crazy. I mean, he should go and look for his parents wherever they are. Yes. 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 Damn. Salud. If he has a legal right, you can't do him anything. Yes. And if you try, the government will fight you. You see, you guys don't seem to get it. You see, my annoyance is that 60% of my father's property was willed to him. Yes. You see, something tells me that my mom is behind us. Yes. I mean, she knows about all this. I mean, something is wrong somewhere. And whatever it is, me, Mr. Lawson, will find out. I swear, I will find out. Yes. Mr. Lawson, I mean, uh, see, if I were you, the only thing you can do is clear my phone. You can push it from me. I love you. You can put your bills on me. All of me. This is me. All of me. You can put your bills on me.
Read that or what? Or what? Read that. Or third world war. Or Biafra war. Or a war like this. Read that or I what? I teach you the lessons you never learned in a haste. Yeah. Is the loss of death. Be better than that. Read that or what? Yeah, 
after me. But why? Has it gotten to the point him using a gun against you? Good heavens know that tomorrow I must arrest him. Forget the blood tie. Forget the relationship. You must see jail tomorrow. Arresting Stanley is not the best solution to this. I think Stanley needs a medical check. I mean, he's gone crazy. And he needs it fast before it's too late. Tell me the truth. Emma, <laughs> tell me the truth or, or I kill myself. Oh, Richard, why are you doing this to me? Please believe me. I don't swear. Just swear by Papa's grave that I was not adopted. And I'll not kill myself. Oh. If not, I'll caught myself, Mama. Raymond, come and see what your children are doing to me. This is so much for me. I can't bear it anymore. Swear, Mama. I said, swear. Oh, oh. Swear. Richard, don't do this to me. Don't come any close. Richard, don't, don't do this to me. Swear. Swear. Thank you. Stanley as a brother? Yes, it is. 
It is wrong to have you as a brother. In fact, it is a taboo. Living under the same roof with you. See, Richard, this is just my own little way of telling you that. Soon, you'll be thrown out of this house. Okay? I swear to God, if I find anything missing in my room, I'll arrest Stanley and make sure I lock him up. I'll lock him up. Richard! You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere, Richard! Richard, you are not going anywhere! <laughs> Listen, listen, this house, 
I'm in charge. I'm in charge of everything. I'm in charge. No sex. Everything that's in this house must be obeyed. to grow wings, right? But trust me, I will cut your wings. Now waste the money. Sir, all I can give is two million. I mean, as you can see, I have no material. You are mad. In fact, you are sick in the head. Now I'm going to be fair to you. Now choose, choose between the streets of Lagos and your job. Like choose, 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 choose. Yes, choose. So, with due respect, I served your parents. I mean, if we keep spending this money the way you do. Sorry, this company will go down. Your father! Did you hear me? Your father, your mother, in fact, your generation. Does your father have a company? Is it your, is it your mom? Is it your father's company? Is it not my father's company? In fact, is it not my own company? If this company goes down, it's all on me. You feel me? Now listen. If I need your seek advice, okay? I'll tell you. For now, I don't. Now do me a favor. Get the hell out of my office and get me the money right now because I have a flight to catch. Now get out. Get out. Out. Idiot. Son of a living pig. Bitch! Pig! Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Since you 
took over the company. You fired all the experienced workers that made the company what it is today. Stand in line. Why? You wanna know why? I'll tell you why. Why? Because they are not competent. That's why. And that's why they have to get themselves outside the gates. That's why. And as long as I pay the salary, they definitely have to work. That's why. Hear yourself out. If you fire all the experienced workers, standing, who will sustain the company? No, why, why are you bothering my life? Why are you bothering my life? Those workers don't have respect. That's why they have to go. Yes, I went to Gloria. Gloria, Gloria, don't put all this. You're my mom. I gave you 50,000 naira last month. What did you do with it? What rubbish 50,000 naira are you talking about? Eh? Wasn't it mommy who gave me 100,000 naira for my accommodation fee? Now you're telling me you gave me. So you now deny the father that I give you money, right? You didn't give me any money. Okay. okay. Oh, and I need my project money okay. now. Okay. Come to the office tomorrow. 
The accountant will say... What rubbish accountant? What office, Stanley? Don't you know that there's no money in that company's account? Eh? Or were you not aware when you were spending the money? Didn't you know that the money will finish? So you now want to turn the company's account? You now want to turn the company's account, eh? Now let me tell you something. You can go to the house and die here and you stay here. It's yours. Now let me tell you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Don't you ever disturb me again. As you can see, I'm very busy. You will get rid of me now. You give me the money, you give me the money. I need my money. Oh, why are you treating me like this? I need my project money, I need it. Please. Now look, I'm giving you this money not because you're worth it. I'm just giving you this money because of God, I swear. Because of God. Now, come on, that. that is it. It's yours. I'm, I'm taking this money because of that same God, though. Stanley, it's because of that God and God punish you, God punish you, God punish you. It's your God. You can put your bills on me. All of me. Marissa, how dare you come into my office and talk to me anyhow? How dare you? I know. I know that you're not happy that I'm here now. But Marissa, you see? You cannot change anything. You know why? Because I'm in charge. You feel me? And that's how it's going to be. Yes. This company that your father built, that he toiled to build, is going down the drain. Very soon the banks will be here to seal this place up, including the house that you live in. It's not possible. Barrister, it's not possible. That would not happen. In fact, you will not succeed in this one. As long as I live, that cannot happen. Yes. Oh, yes. Now I can see. I can see where your greed is coming from. Out of greed, you have managed to chase everyone out of that house, including your mother. Oh, yes. Now you're happy. You own everything. Everything. But let me tell you, the future. We shall see what happens in the future. The future. In the future, you will beg me for money. In fact, you'll be so poor that you'll crawl on your stinking knees and beg me for money. In the future, barrister, I'll be richer than you are. Yes, that's exactly what's going to happen in the future. Now get out. Get out of my office. Yes, out. Out. What, uh, what if I don't? Barrister, if you don't, do you know what I'm going to do to you? I will throw you out of this window. In fact, I'll throw you out of the door. I will throw you so hard that your two legs will not touch the ground. Like it out. Stanley, listen. The connoisseur always recommends good drinks. But it's not all the good drinks that goes down very well. It is true. The same way that it is not every food that goes down the tummy. Now come and let me show you how food goes down the tummy. You son of a bitch, son of a pig, stick it all there. Can you imagine? Nah, in one bad shit, man. Coming to my office to talk to me anyhow. Nah, man, this guy is not even my food. You can put your face on me. All of me. This is me. All of me. Man, that's bullshit. I mean, that's bullshit. Man, just take a look at this. The bank wants to sell off this building. They want to sell off my house. Damn. See, that is not possible. It is possible. See, I have to the end of this month to come up with a debt or I'll see them in court. Oh, Mr. Lo, from what I see, uh, we have a way out. You know, if we're able to raise like four million naira, uh, we can still retain the house. Yeah, you see four million naira? Yeah. Where in this wicked world am I going to get four million naira? Hmm? Where? 
You wanna know that I don't have anybody. I'm just on my own. Everything around this place right now and whatever I'm going through right now, it's all on me. All on me. So, Mr. Luke, are you trying to tell us that your mother cannot help out? My mom? Of course, your mom. As we speak right now, I don't even know the whereabouts of my mom. I don't even know whether she's in the country or wherever. Not to talk of my sister. Please. She's just out of the question. Damn. In that case, man, guys. What we have here is a problem. Yes. It's a big problem. And that's why I want you guys to think. Yeah, think fast. Think fast. It's not all about we get together, we drink, and all that. This is a big problem that we all need to think about. Yes. Think. Because all I have right now is this house. Is there nothing you can sell out to raise this money? Sell. So, you and I know that I've virtually sold everything except for this building. And if I don't meet up with that debt, this building will be as strong as the wind. Then if you talk about my car, then I'm not ready to sell it. Okay? The contractors are here, okay? I know. No, I don't have any money to give them, no. Okay, you're gonna send, okay. One week is too far, no. Okay, three days, I'll tell them. Okay. I know, I love you. Bye. I'll be back in one hour. Yeah, yeah. Alright, mm -hmm. buy free stuff. Make sure the fridge is okay. Alright. Um, I'll be very hungry. I'm telling you. Right. One hour. Okay. Emeka! Yes, madam. Open it. Yes, Right senses, we'll be talking about women now. Considering what we have, what is facing us. Who? What I'm trying to make you understand is that I have found a solution to our problems. How do you mean? Salud. You know Fina now. Who's Fina? Fina, your brother's wife. Ah, Richard's wife now, Fina, your elder brother's wife. Punish you. You're stupid. You must be mad. How can we call Richard my brother? That, that, that idiot. That, that, that son of a god. That bastard. That's the that son of a god. They're calling, they're, they're calling that, that pig. The, the, my, my, my brother. There's like something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with your head. Look, if that's what you came in to, to, to tell me, now you leave. Leave me and let me have my rest. I'm not saying that. You know the problem? You don't shout it. That son of a gun, that bastard, that pig, that guy you call pig, son of a gun, idiot, is a bastard dog in America now. See, my source told me that in Abuja, that guy has six wicked duplexes. In Lagos, he has eight wicked duplexes. He has less states in Padakoto, but that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to talk about the Do you know what is in vogue 
right now. He built a very dangerous mansion for the wife. You need to see Fina now. You need to see Fina cruising. Hi, I saw her. What do you know of that jeep? Oh, that jeep that looks like tortoise. To what? Infinity. She has it six different colors. White, black, yellow, red, green, blue. Jesus Christ. If she drives this one today, tomorrow she drives this one. In that case, in that case, let's bust them. Because whatever he owns today belongs to me. He made that money through my father. Everything he owns, the cars, the houses, everything belongs to me. Yes, and that's the reason why right now, call boys, all we have to do right now is to bust them. Hello, my friend. Let me advise you. So, you know what to do? Go to Fina. Apologize to her. If it's possible, kneel down and apologize to her. Maybe she will talk to the brother and they will help us out of this problem. Don't punish you. Idiot. Idiot. Chai! God. Me. Me, Stalo son. Stalo chop money. Bring myself low. Because of what now? Because of this, go be like this. Bring myself low. Go back. Go back, go back. Go back, fear. Then the soul must be rolled to head. You must be crazy. But they're out of your mind. You are very stupid. You are stupid. Ah! See, 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 you see, see, mouth. Ah, uh, uh, me, me, stalo something. Stalo chop money. Stalo this. Stalo. See, all these things where they brag before. Now, because see, money day. Because see, la show day. Mm. Now, guy, you know what you be now? You be common Stanley. One name, what thing for you? One bang, she, you know me? Hey, look at him, man. Shit. No, get anything. That was not bragging. You know, but, uh, someone go apologize to the help us. See you. Just look at yourself. See you. So, Zero, let me now be. Stop doing nothing. Those days when they dream with the shark. Bring this, bring that, all was on me. Stalo make me arrange babes now for night, all was on me. Now, I'm now, Stalo is not there. Shit. Yeah. But that is the common Stanley, Common Stanley. Okay. Okay. Now get out of my house. Get out of my house. Mm -hmm. Now before. If you touch me now, we'll go most smooth you very well and get you back to your senses. Get out! Stop and sit down. Now, before, let me today, let me now. I'll be fine.
every other girl. Now so so yeah, yeah. Yuri! Uh, what do you mean you're still on this shoe? Sorry, sir. How about how many hours? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. That's stupid. You ought to. Waka! Sorry. Ah. I'm sorry. Come on, give me my shoe. Give me my shoe. I'm sorry, sir. Um, Back, get out of my sight. Um, get out of my sight. Idiot. Imagine. Suspect until you prove us wrong. So, what happened? I saw from a volunteer into the room. Where were you when all these things were happening? I'm going to answer my auntie. What did you do? I ran into the room and hid myself. What happened later? I saw four men. They followed her into the room. Took her money. And the last man shot her dead. Can you identify any of these men? <laughs> no, 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 putting no mask. But I saw from the family and one of them. So what is that? Uncle Stanley shoe. Uncle Stanley shoe? That is a proof. <laughs> So, Stanley, you've not changed. How can I change? 
how can I change? Do you know what? If I have any reason to come to this world again, I swear you will never be my mother. Stanley. I hate you. I hate you. So, of all we did to make sure you are okay. What did you do for me? Yes. All you did for me was hatred. All you did for me was deny me of my own rights. You are in disgrace. You are in disgrace. You are in disgrace. Now, even lost that you are richer than your man in the US. And you have a father's money. You are in disgrace. You are in disgrace. Considered her mood, you know, the loss of her husband, my brother's temperamental and inconsistent behaviors. I felt she missed a holiday. I had to take her away to America with me. Oh, I see. That was a good decision you made, though. And what about your sister? Uh, She's still in the States. Ah, but at least you should have dropped in a word or two before leaving, especially you, Richard. You left without notice. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Lordship. Oh! <laughs> You've heard? <laughs> yes, congratulations, Your Lordship. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you congratulations. Much. Thank you. It's well deserved. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, it's quite satisfying, though. Yes. <laughs> and uh, lest I forget, yeah. probably you know that too, that I have been appointed to preside over Stanley's case. Yeah, uh, we uh, more reason why we came down to see you to see if there's a way you can um, influence the issue, you know, and see how, what you can do for us. Stanley, 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 Stanley. You see, Stanley's case has actually put me in a very, very awkward position. Very awkward position. Several times I've spoken to Stanley to change his way of life. Now see the kind of trouble that he has actually landed in. It's a pity. It's so unfortunate. You see. And uh, you, Richard, you are an unpartner. Yes. What do you think about this case? I know justice must prevail, but uh, the lordship. I still feel a part of him in me. I still feel that empathy of a brother, you know, the, 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 I miss him. So I feel if there's any way you can influence this issue, so you'll be very happy. It will be very difficult. As you know, justice must prevail. Hmm. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, uh, I'll see what I can do about it. Oh, thank, thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you so 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 much. Thank both councils, I have deliberated on this case. It has been proven beyond reasonable doubt that the accused persons, Stanley Maddo and John Ikem, aka Zero, have been found 
guilty after a series of investigations and evidences. Cruelty and wickedness of taking someone's life forcefully must be dealt with according to the law. Both accused persons are found guilty and are hereby sentenced to death by hanging.